We're back for another rocking global leader interview and today I have with us the incredible Shanaz Box. Shanaz, how are you doing today? Very well Rajiv and you? I am doing fantastic and I must say you are looking fabulous. Uh, it's been such a vibe. I know that you've been an influential woman in the past and it's so so good to see you being consistent with the good work that you're doing with your organization and, and ultimately making a difference in the community. Well, that's what we're here for, to make a difference in our community and... The reason I'm here is because the community noticed that. Oh, well, that, that's what it's all about. That's what Global Leaders is all about. So, Shinaz, let me ask you, let me get straight into it. I know a lot of people probably have seen your work in the community, have read about you, checked out your profile. What is the secret to your success? Lots of prayer and a lot of hard work. Well, I, I like that. You know, from the first time I met you, you always had that very positive character, the never give up attitude. Now, to the people who haven't read your profile, how about you tell us a little bit more about yourself? Okay, basically I run an NPO called Rufeda Community Assist Network. Our main aim is to help underprivileged people by giving them free medical assistance in our community. So by free medical assistance, I mean if you are... Uh, bedridden, you're at home, you've had an accident, you've had a stroke, you've had for some reason been bedridden due to any illness. We will come into your home, we will set up an entire hospital environment completely free of charge. Oh, wow, wow, wow. That's where you blow up the chat, you tag a friend, you tag a family member who you know needs something of this sort and I think there it's so important. There is a demand in our community. You would never think that there is a demand. I've actually personally had this experience with my mom who passed away from cancer and this is how I realized there is no uh, help in the community for this kind of work and this is how it all started and you know they say uh, when you go through a bad patch in life make something positive out of it do not sit and say sulk and, and be sad about it you can do something from that sadness and this is where Rufeda Community Assist Network stemmed and today well we're seven years old Seven years later, you know, one of the things I seem, or shall I say, I see as a common factor amongst a lot of the influential women, amongst a lot of the global leaders, is they've always taken their challenges and converted it to opportunities. Okay. And I think that's such a powerful uh, way to look at life. Now, I'm sure a project of this nature costs a lot of money. How can people contribute? How can people get involved? Okay, we've got a lot of projects that we run throughout the year. We've got projects where we do feeding at the Nortel Hospital. This is every week on a Monday. We feed 500 outpatients. That does cost a lot of money. Uh, that costs a lot of logistical issues as well. We've got projects where we give diapers, we've given medical equipment. We've got a project that's uh, up and coming now and that's where we need assistance. So I challenge you, all businesses, please come on board. We're putting a dedicated vehicle into our community and this vehicle will go into every home where a person is ill. We will do free wound care, we will do free pressure testing, sugar testing and basically whatever assistance the family needs whereby they need to know how to take care of their ill uh, uh, family member, we will provide that support and assistance. So if you can support us and you have the means, please do call us. Please do email us. My email address is shanazbox1 at gmail.com. We are looking forward to hearing from you. Now, I know for a fact there's such powerful people watching this. There's going to be somebody out there that's going to email you and he's going to say, I checked you out on the Global Leader Show and I want to sponsor that vehicle. We, we would love that. We would love that. That would be amazing. That would be God's favor upon us. Well, that's what this is all about. It's about making a difference in the community. And if people are doing such good work like yourself, why not? You know, we, we've seen Shana's bug. She's been nominated. She's been validated. She's an influential woman of the year. These are the type of projects you need to support. Any final words, Shana's? I just want to say thank you to everybody. I don't know who nominated me, but the fact that I'm sitting here today is because of you. So thank you. And thank you, Rajiv and Pinky Morty group. I am truly honored and humbled to be here again today. Well, I must say from myself, Raji Modi, such a pleasure having Shanaz Box with us. I've just got one thing left to say. You've got motivated. You guys have just <laughs> been motivated. I love that. God bless you.